what's up i'm aryan welcome back to my channel so i'm back with another very interesting and exciting video um at least i'm very excited for this one because i bought a huge pile of books which i'm very excited to share with you all and show you all so yeah but uh, before getting into the video make sure you are subscribed to my channel because i make loads of bookish content so if you are interested in books you should subscribe to me and of course there are additional informational interviews every now and then for, of inspiring people and you know course related interviews so for that also you can subscribe to my channel and stay updated and yeah don't forget to press the bell icon so that you are notified every time i upload a video and uh, having said that let's get into the video <laughs> very famous darya ganj you know sunday book market which of course now has been relocated due to certain you know orders by the court but anyways it is the same still and not there exactly the venue has been shifted but it is not that far from the previous location i basically bought 12 books out of which one i had already read beforehand but i was not having the physical copy so i had to buy that one because that is one of my favorite books and i'll come to the book haul by the end of this video because i haven't read them yet and i don't have much to talk about them so i'll just show it to you guys meanwhile i'll tell you how you can reach the sunday book market and uh, how can you differentiate between pirated and original copies because since they are selling books at such low costs there is a huge probability that you will find most of uh, you know the books pirated there so if you don't want to get your hands on pirated books you should keep a few things in your mind and uh, yeah after that you're good to go So in order to reach the Sunday book market you still have to get down at the Delhi Gate metro station which you know where the original location was of the Ryaganj market so from that metro station it is literally a 2 minute walk to a location named Mahila Hat where the Sunday book market is now placed so yeah you can easily reach there it is it won't take you more than 2 minutes to reach after you get down from the Delhi Gate metro station so that is really good and if you were very acquainted with the original uh, you know location of the book market it is not far from that it is just a 2 minute walk from there so it is very easy and once you reach mahila hat once you enter the location it is literally a treat to your eyes because there are so many books all around you you know every sort of books uh, books on uh, cooking books competition book course books fictions non fictions memoirs autobiographies everything you just have to ask for the book and you'll get it and of course since it is a weekly market and it is only put up on sundays there was a lot of rush and crowd there so yeah just a little disclaimer now for the pirated and original copies so if you don't want to get hold of pirated copies you will have to you know flip through the book and uh, see for yourself whether it is an original book or not you will feel the difference once you get hold of the book and once you flip the pages because the pirated books have very thin pages the cover will be very thin and it will literally look faded and you know the print on the pages it will it will either be so dark that it will be bleeding onto another page or it will be literally so light and so faded out that you will have to strain your eyes while reading them so that is a case with a uh, pirated books even if you get hold of proper photocopied pirated books there is a you know high chance that uh, some pages are just you know they don't even exist in the book for example if you flip through the book you will see that after page 12 you directly reach on page 20 and all the pages in the middle of the book either they are blank pages or there are no pages at all so that is a very big problem with pirated books so most of the time you don't get the proper pirated ones so uh, you will have to search for the original copies and be a little patient with that while at the sunday book market because i think most of the books there were pirated so you will have to go through them and see for yourself whether or not it is uh, worth buying or whether or not you can invest in such books because just for the sake of buying books at a low cost you won't be able to you know finish reading that book because it is so badly printed 
so yeah that is a very big problem with pirated ones so yeah that was it now coming over to the books i bought literally 12 books and i'm very surprised that i got hold of great books and uh, you know the books which i wanted to read from a very long time at very low cost because they are either second hand or i hope they are not pirated because i spent a very long time going through the books and seeing whether or not they are the original copies but if at all they are pirated now so the first three books are the part of a series by amish that is th this is a trilogy that is the ram chandra series and uh, the books are ram sita and ravan so i wanted to get hold of these books since such a long time but i could not due to various reasons but yeah i finally got them and i have just started reading the book but i think it is um sort of based on uh, the ramayan and it is an interpretation of that from the perspective of ram sita and ravan the three main characters so yeah i think it is you know probably based on that but i'm not quite sure but i definitely will find that out soon because i'm on it and i'm reading it right now so yeah now the second book is the swiss family robinson by johann rudolf wiss now i got hold of this book for like uh, 50 rupees or something and it is definitely an original copy i can feel it you like the pages are thick enough i don't know much about the writer or the book altogether but uh, yeah i'm looking forward to reading this one and finding out that soon book number 3 is far from home by sheila o flanagan Book number 4 is Jodi Picoult's Small Great Things. Now, I've read two more books of Jodi Picoult and that were The Pact and My Sister's Keeper. Um both of them are, you know, mediocre books, but I still want to keep on reading books by this author because uh, I sort of like the writing style of hers. So, yeah. The next book which I bought is Tulip Fever by Deborah Morgage. Now, just look at this cover. How beautiful the cover is. and this is the only reason i bought this book because of course i am yet to read it and i'm yet to find out how exactly is this book so yeah now the next book is mist over the morsi by lynn andrews now the next book is the one which i've already read before but uh, since i was not having a physical copy of it and i was wanting to have it since a very long time because it is one of my favorite books and that book is Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. I'm so excited to have this one finally, and I'm so looking forward to rereading it. Now the next book is again the part of a trilogy by Amish, and is named The Immortals of Meluha. So yeah, this is the first book of the Shiva trilogy, and uh, this one is recommended to me by a friend of mine. So I'm looking forward to reading it and uh, seeing whether or not it stands up on my expectation. Because of course, there's a lot of hype about this book, and I wish to read it and see it for myself. Another popular book which I bought was uh, Rhonda Burns' uh, The Secret. So yeah, this one again. I have got so many recommendations from many, many of my friends. So let's see. Now for the final book, this is a book which I have been wanting to own and read for a very long time. Because of course, I have met many people who have always been recommending me this. That is the Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. So yeah, I'm very, very much looking forward to reading this one and finding out whether or not I like it. So yes. So that was it for today's video and all the books which I bought from the Sunday book market and uh, yeah definitely go comment down below and let me know which books you bought or uh, whether or not you have been there already also if you like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends and i'll see you very soon with a new video till then keep reading keep loving bye